Kajabi. 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 Is Kajabi actually still worth it this year? If you are on the fence of whether or not you should be getting Kajabi for your business, this video is a must watch. As someone who spent a year on Teachable and now has since moved to Kajabi and I've been on Kajabi for two years, I can tell you there are many amazing things about Kajabi, but there are also some things that are lacking that I wish I would have known. And so I'm going to take you through the pros and cons of Kajabi so that by the end of today's video, you can either feel confident and yes, I'm going to buy it or confident in giving it a pass. I'm going to dish with you all the tea. Are you ready for my honest Kajabi review? Let's dive in. What's up, Sandy? Your guide to authentic video. PSA, I do have an exclusive extended Kajabi trial for you. So if you're wanting to try it out, usually they'll give you a 14 day trial. This is gonna be either 30 or 60 days, depending on when you click this link. So definitely use that link if you are wanting an extended trial. Though it is an affiliate link, so it helps me out, but it also helps you out. So if you wanna use it, would recommend. If not, no worries. I would still recommend watching this video though, cause it's gonna be helpful. And I'm gonna show you actually like the inside of Kajabi. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's dive into the pros and cons of Kajabi. We are going to start with Kajabi features. Now, when it comes to features, Kajabi literally has everything you've ever wanted and needed. It has courses, coaching, community, podcasts, email marketing, sales funnels, coupons, affiliate marketing, email opt-ins. Kajabi is everything you need in your business all in one platform. And so because of that, even though it has a heftier price tag, in the end, it's gonna save you money. Like when I was on Teachable, I was also paying for ConvertKit. And so combined together, those two actually were more expensive than what I pay now for Kajabi. So it can be a really wise investment for your business because it includes so much if you take advantage of all these things. And like I said, I've been using Kajabi for two years, so I'm gonna show you the features that I actually use. There's way more features that you can use, but I'm just gonna show with you today the features I use because this is my honest review, right? Okay, but let's move on. Now, a con to Kajabi features is that they limit the amount of products that you can have. Okay, so if we look on Kajabi's website, you can see they have different plans. They've got monthly or annual. I recommend always doing annual because you're gonna save money, but I'm on their growth plan. This is what I pay. I pay $159 a month, but I pay that annually. And you'll see here that it limits me to 15 products. Now, I will say after two years, can you guess how many products I have? In two years, I have seven products and I don't see myself adding more than like maybe three or four more products to my business in the next two years. So even in four years of having Kajabi, I do not think I'm gonna hit more than 15 products because let's say you wanna sell like digital downloads or digital resources, those don't count as products. So if you're like, but I wanna sell a bunch of digital downloads, you can sell those as offers and those don't count. So if we go into Kajabi, I'll show you here. You can see there are products that you can create. So like I have seven here um, and then you can add on. You can add a course, podcast, community, coaching. Let's say I wanted to have a digital download. I can just go to sales and hit offers. And then here you can see like I have a Canva template that I sell. And if we click on it, you'll see this is just a checkout page that I created. And so if we preview it, you'll see this does not count as a product. This is just an offer and you have an unlimited amount of offers and you can see people can pay for this right here on this page. And this doesn't count as like a course or a major product, all right? So you can have as many of these as you want. You're not limited to digital download offers, all right? If you wanna know more about how to do that, there's so many trainings within Kajabi that can show you how to do it once you buy it. So for me, a big con of Kajabi was that I only had 15 products, but actually it's not been an issue for me only having seven and knowing that all my digital downloads do not count as products. They are just offers and I can have as many of those as I want. And it's super easy to set up those sales pages. So would recommend. Now, another con when it comes to Kajabi features is Kajabi's blogging, I just, I don't think Kajabi can replace a WordPress website when it comes to search engine optimization. So if you're wanting to build out a blog, 
that does really well in the search engine, I would still probably say WordPress is better. Like for me, I have Kajabi in a WordPress website. I don't even blog anymore. So honestly, I should probably get rid of it, but I don't know, it's not that much money. So I just pay for it anyway. But all that to say, if you're wanting to have a really intense blog, then probably WordPress is still better. I would say keep the two. Kajabi is mostly a course coaching community platform, not a blogging platform. So just something to note. Now let's talk pros and cons of Kajabi course and course sales features. Ooh, I love Kajabi when it comes to all things building out your course because it's so easy to set up and it looks beautiful and your user experience for your clients is epic. So if I go into Kajabi, let me show you here, I can go into my products and I'll show you my course here. So my main course is the Magnetic Creator Academy. And if I click into this, you can see, this is what it looks like on the back end for me. So you'll see I have um, all my trainings. It, there's lots of stuff in here. If you click on content, you'll see I have video tutorials and I can preview the course and you can see what it actually looks like for my clients looks like this, but for me, I can go through and I can add content, I can add modules, sub modules, lessons, I can add quizzes. And so it's really awesome. If we click in, you'll see kind of what it looks like where you can upload videos. And what I love is that you can upload videos from your Google Drive directly into Kajabi. So it's really awesome. So I just love how easy it is to create courses within Kajabi. Now, what's also really nice is you're gonna need sales pages for your course as well, right? And I do all my sales pages in Kajabi as well. So if I go to website over here on the left-hand side, I can hit pages and I can go to landing pages and you'll see what's really cool is you can create a new landing page and they have all these really amazing templates, sales templates that you can use for your course. People even sell these, you can get really amazing Kajabi sales pages on something like Creative Market as well if you want something even more intense, but the templates that they have are actually really solid. And so we've used these templates for my own sales pages. If we look at my sales page for Magnetic Creator Academy, this we all did in Kajabi. So you can see here, it just, it looks so nice. Kajabi makes it really easy to make beautiful sales pages. And you'll see here, people can then click and then we have the offer page that we looked at before, like with the offer page for digital products, it looks the same and you can customize these a lot, add testimonials. So really easy to do as well within Kajabi. Now, one of my favorite features that you can use for your offers within Kajabi is upsells. I highly recommend you do this on your sales pages and for your offers. So what you can do is you can go to sales and you go to offers. And then from here, you'll go to the offer page that you create. To do all these things, Kajabi has trainings on all of these things to make it easy for you if this overwhelms you. Um, we learn this pretty quickly, actually. And you'll see this is my offer page. And you can click on this thing that says upsells. And you can upsell your clients or potential clients to another offer. So after they purchase something, you can upsell them to add on something to what they already purchased. And I would say this last launch, like, at least a third of the people that bought my program upsold either into a coaching call with me or into Camera Confidence Bootcamp. And so it's a great way to make more money in your business and Kajabi makes it so easy. So love the upsell feature. This is something that Teachable did not have. I don't know if they've added it since I've been gone from Teachable, but Teachable didn't have it and Kajabi did. And so I really wanted an upsell and downsell feature. So you can see here, you can also add a downsell, which is really awesome as well. If people don't want the upsell, they can do the downsell. Pretty cool. Now, another awesome pro to Kajabi's courses and course sales is their funnels. So let's say that you are doing a workshop or a masterclass that's gonna funnel into whatever your offer is. I highly recommend using Kajabi's funnels. So you hit marketing and then you can go to funnels 
And we set a funnel up for my workshop, the YouTube Freedom Formula. It was something free people could attend. And then I sold people onto my course, my Glitter Creator Academy after. And so you'll see here, you create an event and then you can set up emails that are gonna automate to those specific people that have signed up for the workshop so that you can set everything up beforehand and then the funnel will just run for you automatically. It's amazing. So you'll see here kind of what this funnel looks like where we had an email go out two days before the event, six hours before, 15 minutes before, two hours after. So it's just a great way to easily set up your business to work for you so you can work smarter and not harder. And so I know for some of you, you're like, woof, this is over my head, I don't need to use this. But for me, when I was building out my course in the beginning, on Teachable, these were things that I wasn't doing at all. But a year in, I was like, I want all of these things. So remember, Kajabi is a platform that can really grow with you. You don't have to use all these features at first, but they're definitely super helpful. And I guarantee if you're gonna build out your course for a while, you're gonna want them later on. And so just that's why I'm showing you all these things because I highly recommend using them. Now, the only con that I could really think of when it comes to Kajabi's courses and course sales is that their templates aren't super customizable. So if you're wanting something where you can like highly customize your sales pages and your website, Kajabi is not the place to be able to do that. It's not like WordPress or Elementor where you can really go in and like build the website that's extremely, extremely unique. Honestly, I think those things don't matter in the grand scheme of things though. You want something more simple that you know is tried and true and works and that has your branding and can stand out with your branding and that's it, right? your offer, the sales copy, that's what really matters. And Kajabi sets it up for you in a way that they know is gonna work because they want you to be successful because that allows them to also be successful and keep you using their software, right? So their templates are very strategic. So I'd recommend to just go with those instead of trying to do something that's like super customizable. But if you want something really customizable, like I said, you can always go onto something like Creative Market and get templates for specific to Kajabi. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Kajabi's email marketing. Like I said, I used to use ConvertKit. Oh, 10 out of 10, do not recommend ConvertKit. Please don't ever use it. Use something like Flowdesk if you need an email software. But if you're using Kajabi, then you don't need an email software because Kajabi has all the email software that you will ever need. Let me show you Kajabi's email stuff. If we go into Kajabi, if I go back here, I can go to marketing and then hit email campaigns. And this is where you can send emails to your email subscribers. And I'll show you how you can build your email list here in a second in Kajabi as well. But you can just click new email com campaign, email broadcast, continue. And then you'll see they have templates that you can save yourself. I have templates saved with my logo and fonts and things, but you can also use their own templates that are really nice. I don't know, some of these are really beautiful. You could have a newsletter one. So they have some nice templates that you can use. I always just keep things pretty simple with my templates. And so if we were to click on here, get started, I can add the title. You can decide who you wanna send it to, save and continue. You can pick the subject line, the preview text that's gonna go out to people and then you can edit the content in your email. From here, you can see, you can add buttons, text, images, social icons, videos, and so it's really easy to go in and edit your emails and make them customized to how you want them to look for your audience. So that's what the email marketing looks like. Now, how do you build your email list though? You can do that through opt-in. So you'll see I have an opt-in that is the ultimate starting on YouTube cheat sheet. This is all done through Kajabi as well. This landing page right here is a template from Kajabi. And you can see I've got a form where people can put in their email and their name and then an email gets sent out to them. So they're on my email list. So if I go into Kajabi, you'll see I can go to website. I will go to pages, landing, and you can see I can add a new landing page. And there's even a template for opt-ins. So you can see if I scroll down, opt-in, I could just use one of these. I can click view all, and I could use one of these opt-in pages. I think we've used Isabel before, um, but all, any of these are really beautiful. And you'll see, let me show you then, the landing page actually for camera confidence. So if I click into here, you can see this is the landing page that I created for my 
opt-in to get people on my email list. And you'll see here, I can add in a form and it'll say form and you can just click here, edit your forms. And then within your forms, you'll see I've got YouTube cheat sheet and that's where I can go in. I can choose double opt-in or single opt-in. I can edit the form details. If I want people's Instagram handle too, I could add that in. And then I can add an automation. So when the form is submitted, I could have that add a tag to that person. So I know that's how they got on my email list. It'll tag next to their name and email, YouTube cheat sheet. And then I also added an automation that's gonna send that person an email that is gonna allow them to then download the thumbnail. And I just link that to the PDF that you created in Canva. And that's how I did my opt-in. Okay, so you can do all of this in Kajabi. It's amazing. And it looks really nice, right? Then after you have people on your email list, then you can send them out emails like I just showed you. And now we already looked at funnels within email marketing. And if you ever had questions about how to do more of this, there's so many tutorials on YouTube itself. But Kajabi also has something called Kajabi University, where it's free for anyone who pays for Kajabi. And you'll see there's like loads of different trainings that you can do for free that teach you how to maximize Kajabi and even just build your business up better in general. So it's amazing. You can see they have lots of resources. They have marketing courses, just Kajabi 101 information like for products or building out your website. And so it's just a really awesome place to get more information. Now there is a con to Kajabi's email marketing and that is it's not quite as intense as something like ConvertKit or like Flowdesk, but seriously, it's all you need. I, I just like, unless you're doing these extreme crazy email funnels, which I know for me, I'm definitely not doing. Like if you're keeping it pretty basic with your email funnels, you do not need fancy email marketing software. Kajabi is robust enough for your business. I'd almost guarantee it. But if you need something like uber fancy, then yes, maybe go with something like ConvertKit. But if you just need like basic, solid email software, Kajabi's got your back. Now, another pro and con of Kajabi that I love is that they have an affiliate program for people who've taken your course or your coaching. So you can set up an affiliate program for your past students so that you can make more sales as your program builds out. So if I go to Kajabi, I guess I, if I click on sales, I can click on affiliates. And here is where you are able to set up an affiliate link sign up for people. You can go to commission setup, how much people are gonna make when they sell your courses, share links for people. You can send out announcements to your affiliates. It's really awesome. But a con with Kajabi, it's affiliate program for your course or coaching is that they do not send out money to your affiliates when they make sales. You have to do that manually through PayPal. So just something to note, they aren't gonna do that, you have to do that, but they're gonna give you all the data so you know how much money to send out and to who. Now, a bonus I do wanna mention on Kajabi that I just feel like is awesome is that your students can actually pull up your course or your community on their phone through Kajabi's app. So even if like you don't have an app, people can use Kajabi's app in order to access all of your trainings and do things on their phone. So just something really cool. I don't have a con to that, I think it's awesome, but that's just a fun fact for you right there. So with all this being said, is Kajabi worth the price tag? Like I said, as someone who spent a year on Teachable and then two whole months moving everything from Teachable over to Kajabi because Teachable just wasn't robust enough for me, I would say it's definitely worth it. If you are wanting to have a course, have digital products, have coaching, maybe even do a podcast, have a website, do email marketing, if those things interest you, then Kajabi is so worth it. The price tag in the end actually is quite cheap compared to how much you would pay for all of those things. Like I said, I was paying more for Teachable's middle plan and ConvertKit than what I pay now for Kajabi's middle growth plan. So I would say if you know you have an offer, if you know that you wanna continue growing out your business and you want something that's gonna grow with you, then Kajabi's got your back. You can do upsells, you can build out your email list, you can do so many things. I totally recommend it. One of my best friends is actually building out her course and I had a whole conversation with her about how amazing Kajabi is. So no, I tell my closest friends these things as well. Kajabi is 10 out of 10 worth it for you if you're really serious about your offer and you want 
a system that's going to grow with you. Now, don't forget that I have that extended trial linked below. I'll also link it up above where you can get a 30 to 60 day trial to try out Kajabi. Would highly recommend to build everything out in those 30 to 60 days. And then once you start having to pay, you've got it all set up and ready to go to be making some sales. And if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to learn more about the 10 things I wish I knew before I bought Kajabi, you can check out this video and I will see you next time. Bye.